style, luxury, performance. Does the Alfa Romeo do it all and better than the competition? Let's take a drive and find out. Man. Hey guys, how are you? Oh, dude, we were parked right in the middle of the street. The salter comes right next to us and just starts pelting us with these oh. giant salt chunks on purpose. Just, I think, because he wanted us to get out of the middle of the parking lot. Oh, hey, Nick. Hey, guys, I'm editing photos of my dog. I think this <laughs> Tell me your photographer without telling me your photographer. Where is Dean going? What's he doing? Does no one see this? What are you doing? Look at your teapot. Hey, you can really, uh, that's a, that is a cock for a snowball fight. <laughs> Dude, I can make a snowman so fast. <laughs> that's a pretty good base. <laughs> look, at the, look at the trail you built. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're at <laughs> I really need to do this loop pattern. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's go shoot the alpha. I guess. Excuse me, sir. You can't walk in the middle of the road like that. We're, we're thinking literally just pull right past the bridge. Uh huh. Basically come up this way, hook it left slightly, uh -huh. and then swing it right, stomp the wheel. Got it. Turn. Got it. Hop out, introduce it. Oh, that means I need to think about what I'm saying. Yes. This is the intro. <laughs> gonna go so fast. Three, two, one, action. Now while it may miss the mark as far as luxury, it certainly makes up for it in luxury and fucking oh, mother's <laughs> <laughs> <You didn't see. laughs> All right, so let's talk alpha. By accident, the GoPro footage kind of got corrupted. However, we just gave the car back yesterday, so the car is still fresh in my head. Yeah. The handling. Oh my God. It was amazing. Uh, what did Nick say? Nick said, because this car is an SUV, it makes you feel like you need more of those luxuries. If we were in a sedan, I think you'd like it more. Okay, so you were talking about how you're kind of sacrificing luxury no, you, with you, the driving experience. No, you definitely are. So, But he, if you were in a Julia, you would love the car more because it drives like a sedan. Right, it drives like a sedan because even though it's higher up, and listen, I know it's the same platform, Yeah, it drives like a sedan because of how it handles like right. your driving position is still very suv you're mm -hmm. still sitting i mean we're in an suv right now obviously we're pretty high up but like handling wise that car drove like oh, a yeah. sedan it drove amazing and the steering too it had this like really thin steering wheel and the places where you put your thumbs on the steering wheel was just so perfect mm -hmm. And the steering rack was so tight. Put I like a thin steering wheel, <clears throat> and it had the big bunny ear paddle shifters that were yeah. mounted to the column, yeah. not the steering wheel itself. It was mounted to the column, and the transmission was so freaking quick. What was it? Yeah, it, might it is a ZF. Yeah, it's ZF8 a ZF8. speed. It was the ZF8 speed, which honestly, I don't know what Alpha did. They tuned that transmission to be really, really responsive. Same thing in the uh, Maserati. That transmission was yeah. very snappy. It gave me the same type of feel that the Maserati did. Yeah. Obviously not the same powertrain, but... Well, but it, it's a similar chassis. It's the same transmission as well. Yeah, so like, honestly, I really liked how it handled. Like, you could toss that car into a corner really easily. Yeah. And the car stayed planted, and then you get on the power, and for a four-banger, right? For oh, yeah. a four-cylinder? Super impressive. Honestly, here's my gripe about that car. It didn't have any sound to it. No. Like, all you heard was induction noise, which is cool, but listen, car manufacturers like Hyundai 
and Fiat, they, yeah. they've proved that, like, you could make a really good sounding four cylinder. Right. And, like, put an exhaust back there. But then that's I wasn't why getting get, any of that. That's why you get the quadrifoglio. Yeah, though. but, like, that's a whole different car. Right. But that's how they you know. Get you know, like you got, like you have the good driving experience. You're missing yeah. some of the luxury that you then again get in the quad. So if you really want, if you want what the quad is, like basically, which is just a good driving SUV, you got the base model. If you want to go all out, have a good sounding one, have comfort, luxury, sport, performance, all that, you get the quad. So you, you think that Alfa Romeo detuned and took away some driving experience and some noise so that people would buy the quadrifoglio for sure really makes me want the quad because we took hmm. we drove the car for a week yeah and it sold me on the car i love yeah. the car but yeah. i have the same gripes that you have but it sold me on wanting the quad mm -hmm. if i was in the market for that car i would just get the quad interesting because that car was so good and i know that the and quad you know what we're gonna fix my issues i'll be completely honest here when alpha reached out to me and they're like hey we have the alpha romeo it's the four cylinder immediately like my heart dropped i was like really like the fuck and immediately within like a minute of driving that car i put it in sport mode use the paddle shifters and it literally if i if i could reenact it it was like shit and like it kicked you every mm -hmm. time you use the paddle shifters and i seriously thought to myself i go am i sure i'm not on the quadrifoglio i know it doesn't sound like one but yeah. power wise and torque wise this car flies. However, it drove so well. In my mind, I think the suspension was a little too hard. Might have been the really low profile tires. Uh, yes. In combination with the suspension. But yes. If anything, give me like a choice. It right? didn't have like give an me a comfort. Mode. No, it didn't. Yeah. Like give me in comfort mode to have really like soft suspension or give me again individual where i could customize and maybe have some like adaptive dampening and like all this stuff which the car may have but it didn't give you the option yeah. to kind of adjust that a little bit but i think it just wasn't a comfortable car right the suspension was really hard everything was just hard about that car and the seats dude the seats sucked oh yeah same with the maserati <laughs> it was like the same sort of thing do you think they actually detune, like, the four-cylinder because the quad, they want to sell more quads? No, I think, honestly, I really think it has to do with because it's a Dodge motor at the end of the day and it's a reliability thing. Because there's still, what, like 280, right? 280 from a Dodge Turbo 4 is pretty yeah, good. Was, was, we'll, we'll drop the horsepower right here. Um, it was pretty quick, man. No, it's honestly. not bad. It's not bad. The like, trans is good. It kind of shoves you in the back of your seat, and when you hit the trans in manual, like... No, it's good. It's, it's a, I mean, it's a ZF8, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's good. It's, uh, it's not a bad car. It's really not a bad car. The problem is it looks super athletic, so when you drive it, you're like, oh, this is going to be like M340, let's say, like level of performance, right? Yeah. But then you like get in it, and you're like, oh, it's like... 330 level of performance uh, but i guess it's a good, good thing though because if you buy it at a price point it's a perfect lease machine because you can get in it for like 400 450 a month mm -hmm. and it looks better than a 330 and sure. i think i think they hit the nail on the head with that car because a lot of the drivers i see driving those cars they're not like real car people. No, they're it's like, like a real estate agent car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. You're like exactly. Two, two years but in. But like it looks really nice and it looks nicer than a lot of the competition. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I'm going to buy this because it's sexy. It's and it's Italian. Italian. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, so exactly. I think they hit the nail on the head and the Quadrifoglio is like Yeah, that's really good. I want to test the Quad. We, we had the Maserati yeah. Grocale Trofeo, mm -hmm. which is basically. Same motor, 2.9 twin turbo, right? It's same, same chassis. Car, same dude. thing. But, <laughs> but Maserati. That car was 110, for the four cylinder? No, 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 no for, for the, oh. the trophy. Yeah. But like, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. How much is a Quadrifoglio? Like I think 80. 80? Yeah. I, I want to say 80. 80, 80 yeah. and then 90 for a good one, probably. Yeah. Dude, I'd, ra I'd rather save the 30 grand and just get the, the Alpha. Literally. It's a no brainer. It's the same car. And yeah. it looks better because it created the formula. Yeah. You know, they're just shaping the Maserati design language around a car that, like, they're borrowing. Yeah. 
So it's like doesn't flow. Well, you see, and it, it's yeah. like it looks weird. And the Alpha is a good looking car. Yeah, I like the Alpha styling wise. Yeah. Like between like especially the brand brand new one, like they refreshed yeah, it. Yeah, mm-hmm. the headlights. I are love sick. the yeah. headlights. I love the tail light or the tail lights were like smoked. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like uh, like Porsche's uh, exclusive manufacturer tail lights. Yes, yeah. they were beautiful. The Alpha exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha exclusive. <laughs> but I think I think it was a beautiful car and. I, I went with my girlfriend when we went to pick it out. It uh-huh. was red on red. And it's she was top. like, I love this car. I go, why? You're not a car person. Yeah. She goes, it's just sexy. Yeah. If you know yeah. nothing about cars <laughs> and you see that and you're like, wow, you're doing good. You got an Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it has curb appeal. I give the Alpha like a 7 out of 10. No, I, for regular people cars, it's yeah. honestly like it's a 9 good. out of 10. Yeah. Why? Like Why? Okay, because it looks Regular good. Uh-huh. The performance is not bad. Like, we're car people, right? So, like, for yeah, us, it's our like... our standards are all yeah, up here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> our standards are up here. Like, for, like, if your mom got in that car, she'd be like, oh, this thing's this thing's fast. It puts you in your seat. Like, True. 280 True. horsepower. True. Yeah. Um, yeah. It looks really good. If you know nothing about cars, you might not even know Alpha's like a brand. So, you're like, oh, it's an Italian car. It must be expensive. Okay. Right? And it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it does look more expensive than it is. So there it is, the Alfa Romeo Selvio. Now, while this car may miss the mark on luxury, it certainly makes up for it in styling and performance. But is it really worth the $60,000 price tag? Would you buy this over the competition? Let me know in the comments. For more videos like this, you know where to click.